What I found really interesting about Victor's story um, was the fact that so many of these things happened to him on a, on, a, on, a, on a basis on their own. If you were just, just to look at the events by themselves, the mistakes that happened by themselves, for it to happen to anybody would be, you know, incredibly unlucky. You'd be like, fuck, I can't believe it. Um, but for them to happen so many times to one person is what I found the most interesting and probably like the scariest thing um, about it all. So to recap on Victor's story, to bring you up to speed so you can understand what it is that I'm saying, Victor had a cough. Now, this cough um, lasted more than a number of days, it actually went on for a few weeks. Victor went to his local GP, his local doctor, to seek, you know, uh, relief. He wanted to get rid of the cough. He assumed it was a cold or maybe something a little bit more serious than a cold. So he went to his GP. Antibiotics. He comes back. They haven't worked. They give him a new set of antibiotics. He comes back. They haven't worked. They give him a new set of antibiotics. He comes back because those haven't worked. So he's come back for a number of times for the same cough. Now, this has spanned over uh, a period of weeks, a number of weeks to say, three to four weeks, five weeks. He's had this cough now. So Victor takes it upon himself to go to a clinic. Um, whilst at the clinic, he does a urine test. The results come back and they tell him, look, um, we've seen that there's an excess amount of protein in your urine. Now, this could mean your kidney is leaking or it means that, you know, um, there could be some contamination. We want to be sure of what this means. We want to be sure of what's going on. So come back the following week and do another test. Cool. Victor's relief to some degree. Um, that he's got some information at least, um, an idea of what's wrong with him. And if you have an idea of what's wrong with you, there's a chance that there's something out there to help you. He comes back the following week, uh, goes to do his urine test, leaves the specimen in a cubicle, as you know was told to him by the nurse. Few hours pass, he sees the same nurse and he goes to speak to her. Um, as he speaks to her, she reminds him that or she informs him that she actually threw away his urine test. Confused, a little bit annoyed, but understanding, Victor asks if he should, you know, drink some more water and just give another specimen so they can test him out. The nurse flat out, you know, tells him no. Um, there's no need to worry. She shows him some paperwork. Go on home. If it was a big deal, they would have told you last week, you're fine. Victor takes her word for it. Victor begrudgingly goes home. The cough doesn't get any better. He's still coughing. He's still coughing. He's still sick. Um, you know, and at this point, after it being a few weeks of still coughing, he's starting to look a little sluggish, you know, in his appearance. But it's only 18 months later when he's puffy all around his face and his neck and then his gut and his back has started to swell and his sides begin to swell up as well. And in particular, the side where his kidney has been leaking, after a urine test again, 18 months later, they found out that his kidney had been leaking the whole time. That's what his cough was from. Now, to kind of, uh, to, to bring you up in a bit of speed, his kidney was leaking, so his kidney is damaged. The way to go about um, you know, helping repair said kidney uh, was through a, a treatment or a course of steroids that they put him on. Had they discovered that his kidney was leaking um, the first time he brought it to their attention about his cough when he did the, you know, the first urine sample, if they had caught it at the second urine sample, his kidney would not have been as damaged as it was. Um, so the dose of steroids that they would have given him if I remember correctly, it would have been five milligrams. Instead, they bumped up the dosage of steroids. I can't remember the exact amount, but it was enough to not only cause further damage to the already damaged kidney, 
but to induce him with diabetes. And as soon as he got diabetes, it began to affect his other kidney that was perfectly fine. And the course of steroids began to damage the perfectly fine kidney. So, you know, they, the doctor, first off, gave him a number of different antibiotics that didn't work. He goes in for a urine test. They're not entirely sure, so they call him back for a second one. The nurse throws away the urine. So when they should have been able to actually, you know, diagnose him, they miss that opportunity. 18 months later, they diagnose him. After that, they begin the course of medicine. Yet that course of medicine not only further damages the kidney, but induces him with diabetes, which then goes on to mess up his perfectly fine kidney. Now, when he was telling me, oh, you know, they induced me with diabetes, at first I was a little bit skeptical, but upon looking at some of his medical reports and actually reading through the internet, um, it, it didn't seem particularly far-fetched. I'm telling you the truth, I've got no faith in these people whatsoever. None. You know, none whatsoever. 